for years I have been suggesting that Adobe would totally kill were it to develop a desktop media player. And largely because everybody seems to have Adobe Flash installed running inside their browser. You don't have to worry about downloading any other fancy plugins just to watch video. And that's the way most people experience uh, Adobe Flash. Well, whether it's through YouTube or any other embedded video, it is likely running with Flash software, the Flash player. And today, Adobe officially released the Adobe Media Player. But it's not just a media player. It is uh, really uh, an, a good step in a direction of yanking you away from the television set, making you see that television can be delivered onto your computer. Now, I know there's Juiced, there's Miro, uh, there's a variety of these other desktop video players, but there's something that uh, Adobe has got that many others don't, and that's a huge brand and huge budget, and a, a, just a, a, a amazing first version for a desktop media player. Go ahead and download it if you want. Of course, I've, I've got it running here. Uh, the nice thing about the Adobe Media Player is uh, you can probably find your favorite video cast already in it. And if you go to the catalog and type in the word tech, T-E-C-H, the first hit that comes up is me, the little Chris. It says computer help and how to. Generally speaking, that's, that's what we talk about, tech. Um, you know, sometimes we float around the world of tech, but we use tech to connect with one another, don't we? I mean, we're all kind of geeky in, in some way. Uh, the... Uh, catalog is searching through uh, videos that have been uploaded to blip.tv but of course maybe you're one of the types of people who likes more traditional television broadcast uh, CBS is running some of their shows through here and if I click the CBS button I can get uh, CSI Miami New York uh, they've got Big Brother Jericho Survivor They've got CBS Classic as well, uh, MacGyver, Melrose Place, Twilight Zone, Hawaii Five-0. Uh, the one thing I know Ponzi is going to love, they're doing something here with the Food Network, and she loves the Food Network. Now it's just going to be a click away. She, uh, she's going to be in hog heaven, literally, and she'll learn how to cook it too. Uh, anyway, the Adobe Media Player is not, uh, it's not just a media player. It is a media experience where you can subscribe to your favorite video casts, this one included. Uh, they'll just come directly to the Adobe Media Player. You can play back flash files from within the media player. You can watch your favorite television uh, shows, at least the ones that are coming through the Adobe Media Player. All sorts of options, and I'm sure it will continue to grow over time. The eye candy in the Adobe Media Player is to my liking. I can't say that the... Uh, Entire experience is awesome, but for version 1.0, it's pretty solid. Uh, seems fast enough, a great way to discover video cast content. Uh, the, the thing that I think it's got going for it the most is a cross between uh, traditional content and more personally published content like what we do here at live.perillo.com. Um, it'll be interesting to see how much traffic the Adobe Media Player drives in terms of people who subscribe to our video channel uh, and, and if those views are impacted anyway. Uh, but I'm pretty sure Adobe will be pushing this pretty hardcore. In fact, if I go to uh, adobe.com, Adobe, uh, adobe.com, if I can type it in right, uh, one of the first things I see on Adobe's homepage right now, it's great, is it's got get Adobe Reader, get Adobe Flash Player, get Adobe Air, get Shockwave Player, and as you dive in, they're saying, download the media player. They're going to be pushing this thing 
big time because they know you are all about digesting media. You are all about media and getting that media. They're going to pull you further away from that thing over there that you know as the television, unless of course you're watching me on your television, but likely if you're watching me on your television, it's through software or through a computer that's connected to your television. What's the difference? I mean, granted, I, I may not have the best setup, but I'm doing the best I can with the resources available. The reason why I do what I do is because I'm able to record my videos live through the internet and then distribute through the internet. This isn't a television set so much as it's my home office. It's just where I live. I'm not a TV, but this certainly is. And I gotta, I, I, again, give it a shot. It's free. Uh, if you like any shows, you know, f that, that are listed in here, then certainly you'd want to organize them in some kind of fashion. You can go through and dive into, uh, you know, more organizing more of the videos that you have in your personal uh, catalog. Uh, you've got, uh, it says you've got no personal videos here. You can add videos from your computer by using the add video button below. Some usability quirks, uh, but you know, for version 1.0, I've, I've certainly seen uh, far worse. Doesn't seem to be uh, in the least bit annoying. And as I said, um, I think this has been the only way I've been able to view uh, certain FLV files that I've downloaded from the internet uh, without having. Uh, transcoded them into mp4 format and see that just throwing those technical terms around may make you blind but that's one of the reasons why I think Adobe has kind of figured it out I mean they've got a universal media player and I think that's where uh, they will be poised uh, to, to, to really take off uh, I don't know if it's gonna give iTunes a run for its money I don't think that's the market they're really going after it'll be curious to see how it grows and evolves over time um, I'd certainly hate to see it you know try to uh, really take over my entire media management experience and to tell you the truth I really don't have uh, a media management experience if I want to uh, listen to something I you know search for it basically if I know what I'm looking for or, or you know I've also uh, gone and, and subscribed to uh, the uh, Rhapsody subscription service this Adobe Media Player I don't think supports Rhapsody they'll be working with Comedy Central at some point in the future though I'll just search for a, 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 a file I want to listen to That's a promo that uh, we did for Gnome Next, my conference. But I, I don't manage that. I just have it on my hard drive, and I just hit play. If I don't have it in a Rhapsody subscription, of course, they're never going to carry that in Rhapsody. But I, I don't know. It's it, it doesn't seem to me to be just yet another media player. I, I think they're going to be doing a lot with it. Uh, but uh, certainly, uh, I'd be keeping an eye on this particular media player if I were you. Give it a shot. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. It's just software. If you don't like it, don't use it. Your hard drive's big enough. I mean, what else are you going to fill it up with? And hopefully you're not archiving my videos. Somebody else is doing that. And you can get to all my videos through the Adobe Media Player too. Just curious to know what you think. Uh, I don't know if you're going to replace your current media player solution with this. I mean, as I said, it's, it's kind of 1.0. It's just getting out of the gate. Um, but it's... Uh, I think uh, something to pay attention to. Can't beat the price either. Pretty simple. So let me know what you think. My email address is chris at perillo.com and uh, you know where you can get the videos on YouTube or the Adobe Media Player or iTunes or really you can get it anywhere. You can get it in Miro if you wanted to. I don't think you can get it in Juiced though. I don't know how much longer Juiced is going to be around. Better enjoy that while you can. You also better enjoy the television while you can because pretty soon I am going to start up my own television network. Not. I have my own television network, and it's streaming live pretty much 24 hours a day, seven days a week at one place, and one place alone that you could get anywhere, really. But I'm just saying that we typically congregate at, at one particular point on the Internet, and that is live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.